In this orchid arrangement, I have multiple batana sticks. As you can see, some of them are visible, some of them are not. But in most arrangements, you're walking around the room, and so you'll see the orchid and the batana sticks from many different directions. I like to say that the orchid's bloom is always the focus. It's the bride, where the batana sticks are really the bridesmaid. This is a simple arrangement, a single stalk orchid with just a single botana sticks. And probably in most homes, this is frequently how you will see the botana sticks displayed. Simple and elegant. Whether you're looking for a napkin ring or a napkin twist, botana sticks has them both. I'll start with the rings. This is a dragonfly. Who doesn't love a dragonfly? It's a nice, simple look but it's elegant in its simplicity. Moving on to something a little dressier is the pearl. And the pearl is surrounded by these little squiggles, just enough to catch the air if you have the window open. Very pretty. From there, we'll move on to rhinestones on the napkin ring. Just an, a little more elegant look. And then we're gonna move on to something a little simpler, the napkin twist. The napkin twist really shows your personality by how you twist it around the napkin, just as the name implies. This is an option, and then this is an, the second option, leaving the napkin flat and just twisting it around the edges. It's, again, just a, another image of you coming out in your home decor on your table. The newest line for Botana Sticks is the glass lamp finial. As you can see here, the finial itself is large pieces of glass mosaic melded together, and even on a traditional lamp like this, which is a shell lamp, the look is just very unique. The second glass lamp finial is three kinds of glass. As you can see here, there's crushed glass in there as well, and they are melded together into an abstract look. And I think the nice thing about these finials is they can uh, go between coastal traditional and contemporary, and that's a nice thing.